Hey everyone, my name is Atanas Bakalov and I'm being joined by Rahul Tibrawal, who is a product manager for customer experience at Cisco. Welcome, Rahul. Thanks for having me. So to start with, what would you say are the core skills that you need to have in order to be a good product manager? Number one is collaborative skills. So you need to be able to work with, with people. The second is have that sort of business acumen. So again, you do not need to be a hardcore financial person or you do not need to be a hardcore marketing person, but you need to understand all of those concepts. And similarly, uh, depending on what domain or what market you're working in, you need to be able to understand your market really well. Uh, you need to be able to understand your customer or your customer's problems really well. So I think it's also important to decide what type of industry you want to work in, whether you want to be in a B2C organization or industry or a B2B organization. Because the sort of work that you do and the type of skills that you require, uh, there are certain differences between these two. So in B2C, for example, the way you're designing a product, um, the way you're selling a product, may be very, very different from a B2B scenario, in which case the sales processes are much longer. The ultimate users of your products may not be the ones who are making the purchase decision or influencing the purchase decision. So it's important for you to understand that distinction as well. So customer empathy, market awareness, awareness of technology, what's happening out there, awareness of the competition as well. I think that's, that's key and then uh, being able to work collaboratively um, within organizations. I think these are some of the key skills that you require. And uh, these are not skills that you necessarily um, learn in school within an hour or two hours and so on, but these are things that, skills that you build over time. So when it comes to learning opportunities, I know Cisco has a pretty extensive learning yeah. organization. What have you noticed that employers are asking for? Sure. Uh, you know, as you rightly mentioned, Cisco has a very, very large learning organizations and uh, they also produce some of the certification content, uh, which is highly coveted in the industry. So being certified by Cisco is, is highly recognized in the industry. But I think more from an internal perspective, from an employee perspective, there's just so much more demand for learning. Um, so people recognize now, and especially in tech where things are changing so rapidly, um, that to be able to continuously learn and upskill them themselves is very, very crucial. And people are also getting more comfortable with digital platforms or digital forms of learning. So those two things combined, uh, what I've seen internally um, within the organization, I think within large organization, is an explosion of internal learning content as well and uh, content which is being produced by the organization itself, but they're also partnering with a number of other learning providers to just provide this huge, huge library of content um, on a lot of different topics, which the employees, frankly, are asking for. So let's talk about product management specifically. A lot of people want to get into product management. How do they do that? Sure, so it depends on uh, where you want to be because product management role, it varies a lot. So product managers, they work across engineering and business. So it's not a 50-50 balance. It depends on the organization that you work for. So the first thing you want to figure out is what sort of role or what sort of responsibilities are you really looking for? And depending on that, it could be either more business skills or more technical skills that you want to focus on. So that's one. The second is what industry or what customer problem are you really passionate about? Uh, what are some of the issues that, or frankly, even technology as well, that you're passionate about? And uh, you feel that there is an area that you can contribute to. So figure that out. Uh, think about the companies that are sol solving that problem really well or the companies that you think uh, you could be a part of um, to solve those problems really well. And then from there, you need to evaluate yourself and understand what skills or where do you stand right now and what do you need to get to where you want to be. So the third step obviously is building those skills. Now, how do you build those skills is again, going to an MBA program, for example, was, was my approach to it. Uh, or again, something like what you're doing, um, leveraging your platform to, to build those skills. And uh, the last aspect is internships. So obviously you want that experiential learning to get a real feel for what that role is like 
and is that something that you thought it was and is, is it something that you would enjoy and once you are able to convince yourself that yeah this is a work that i like i think it will also show it will be visible to others that you are passionate and you are a good fit for a particular role and, and then things just automatically happen from there so lastly careers are pretty much a long game what are some long term tips that you can share sure so uh, the way i think about this is you need to continue learning um the day you stop learning you stop growing and uh, from a long term perspective i think it's also very important to at some point you know you need to experiment you need to explore what's out there uh, but then you need to dive deep and you need to build your expertise or experience in a particular domain or area gone are the days where you could you know be a generalist and uh, and still grow in your career the way you want to grow um it is important to build your skills be an expert in your domain and uh, that will only happen if you continue to learn if you dive deeper and uh, yeah so that's that's the way i approach it is long term continue building your expertise continue learning awesome yeah thanks so much for joining me i appreciate it thanks for having it. me yeah, thanks it was a pleasure